Hi, everybody. I'm Jennifer Danford. I'm the Director of Admissions at St. Hubert. We're really excited to have you here today. And uh, the one great thing about St. Hubert is all of the different clubs and activities that we have. Whenever we go to grade schools or even open house, so many kids cannot wait to get involved in the different activities in high school and the different sports in high school. We have a great panel here with so many young ladies who are involved in many different clubs. And we have many moderators here too as well. So we're just gonna give you just a little bit of a taste on all the things that we have. We also have our assistant principal here as well uh, for students, uh, student services. That's gonna be saying a few words too. So how this is going to work, we're going to each say a few words and at the end, we're gonna open it up to questions and answers. Um, also, if you would like to contact any of our club moderators or also students, they can put their email in the, in the chat and you can email them directly. Um, for, and then also, Brittany and any other moderators, if you have any type of social media platforms, please put your social media platform there as well so they can then follow you on Instagram or, and Facebook, okay? So we're gonna get this started. And first to kick off is Mrs. Dougherty. Hi and welcome. I'm Mrs. Dougherty, the Assistant Principal for Student Services. I oversee the clubs and activities at St. Hubert. We have a lot to offer for students that are looking to enhance their high school experience with extracurricular activities, from service to culture to academic to leadership to music and arts. We offer something for everyone. And if we don't have something, don't hesitate to come to my office and talk about what interests you and how we can make that happen at St. Hubert. There are great moderators. There are great students that are here on this panel today. So don't hesitate to ask them questions uh, and really enjoy your time here. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Dougherty. Uh, first up, we are going to kick it off with Mrs. McHale, who oversees all of our um, um, service here at St. Hubert. Ms. McHale? Thank you, Mrs. Danford. Welcome, everybody. My name is Ms. McHale. And today, I just want to give you an overview of three different clubs that I moderate. The first one is CSC, our Community Service Corps. CSC is an amazing club because every year we do some of the same things and we do some different things based on what the members want to do. So if you join this club, you get to have a say of what kind of service matters to you and what you would like to do. And together we get to figure out how to make that happen. And the students, the members of the club are very involved in making the contacts to get the kind of service done that they would like to do, the kind of projects they want to do. For instance, this year, we did some of the things we always do, such as a shoe drive and a winter clothing drive. Um, we also did a canned foods good drive uh, over Thanksgiving, and we do cars for the troops as well. But um, some of the things that we did that were brand new was based on student suggestions, such as we went to Pegasus riding facility and they have therapy horses that we got to work with and we did some service for them. So that was a brand new project. Um, we also did a lot of collection for the homeless population in our own city. We were able to do a toiletry drive for them and that was a new thing for us this year. Uh, we also do some baking and cleaning projects. We visit nursing homes, we go Christmas caroling, we collect toys around Christmas time for little children and we get to have a wrapping party and some of our students get to deliver those toys. So we really do make service a lot of fun and we want it to be meaningful for all of you. So we are open to suggestions and it's a great way to get your service hours in and do it together with your baby sisters. Another um, club that I want to touch on is Ministry Club. Ministry Club is a way that we keep our faith 
vibrant and alive in our school. Um, we have girls that are in all different grades and they come together and they spend time together in the ministry office, usually having snacks and hanging out and um, working on different assemblies, whether it's a prayer ceremony or adoration with music. And um, one of our members and leaders of this club is going to talk to you a little bit more about that in a second. So I don't want to give too much away, but ministry club is a great way to make your faith your own and to really um, have that walk of faith with your Bambi sisters. And the other club that I just want to touch on is our Bambis for Life Club. This is our pro-life club at St. Hubert's, and we stand up for the dignity of all people, especially the most vulnerable. So the unborn babies, the elderly population, those with special needs. We try to focus on these groups um, by doing different outreaches, whether it's a, a diaper drive or a baby items drive for mothers in need, um, going to the March for Life, visiting nursing homes, and helping kids with service projects with, who have special needs. So these are just some of the ways that we try to reach out in Bambis for Life. Um, just showing that every life has value and every life has dignity. So I just want to um, point to one of our students who's with us today. Her name is Jalissa. And Jalissa is a very active member in both ministry and Bambi's for Life. She actually serves on the leadership team. And she's going to just share with you a little bit more about those clubs and some of her favorite things that we've done this year. So go ahead, Jalissa, take it away. Hi everyone, my name is Jalissa. I am a junior at St. Hubert's and I'm the Vice President of Bambi's for Life and Ministry. When I like for grade school, then I went to a charter school and a public school, so I wasn't like too involved in my faith. So then I came to Hubert's and I got and then I joined ministry and Bambi's for Life and it's just a really good way to grow deeper in your faith and everything and it's also a really good way to like get involved and get your service hours so for ministry club that's where we usually um hang like scripture verses around school and quotes and just like cute little things for like the girls to see and just like put a smile on their face whenever they're walking through the halls and we are also the ones behind the scenes for masses and like we do altar serving and bring up the gifts and stuff like that and for um we also like set up for the prayer ceremonies and we have adoration which is so much fun and i just wish we could do it more and we also have like this year we had jason everett come and he was a really really good speaker he was super educational and also really entertaining so that was really nice to have then for bambi's for life it's a great way to get your service hours done and like in a fun way too there's things that we do like the March for Life where we go to DC and we just spend like basically the whole day there and we go to mass before and it's just really fun. We also volunteer with the Sisters of Life who are super, super sweet. And then there's like a lot of other things we do. Like for this year, we worked with TSC and we did a baby drive. So we donated baby items for um, a house that had mothers who chose life for their babies. but couldn't really like afford things that they needed. So we were able to donate a lot of items for them and then they came and they got the items. So that was really nice. Freshman year, I wasn't really involved and I really regret that decision because then sophomore year, I joined CSC Families for Life Ministry and Athletes Helping Athletes. And it just made high school so much more fun. And it was really nice to like meet more people and everything. So I recommend to not be scared because it just, whenever you join the clubs, it just makes your high school experience so different and you just get to meet so many new people. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jalissa. Um, next up, we are going to go into theater. So our theater director, uh, Brittany. Hi everyone, my name is Brittany Orcupero. I am the musical theater director for St. Hubert's. Um, I'm coming up on my fifth production for St. Hubert's. I can't believe it. Um, we've had an unbelievable run uh, creating the musical theater 
program that we've created here. Um, something I think is super important in musical theater is the idea of teamwork, which I love that St. Hubert's really got behind me on um, inside of musical theater. I see no grades. Um, we, are, we are all one team putting on one production. Um, we've had four unbelievably successful productions and uh, they've been such great fun. Um, I don't want to give too, too much away because I like to have the girls really tell you what their experience is. Um, but a couple things that we do, uh, the musical happens in the fall. We usually have it the weekend after Thanksgiving. Um, we have rehearsals three to four times a week, depending on the production and how close we are getting to production time. Um, during the rehearsal process, we also do a lot of fundraising for the show, which is really fun. One of the biggest fundraisers that uh, the group created is called the Java Jam. Actually came from one of the minds of one of our senior students. Um, and it's a coffee house that the cast and crew runs together. It's always a great event. We have a great time doing it. We have a great time performing it for you all before we put on our big musical. Um, the other thing that we like to do in the spring is take the cast and crew to see a Broadway show. Um, and in, besides seeing the Broadway show, the other thing that we do is we take a class with Broadway professionals. Uh, so last year we were able to go see Dear Evan Hansen last spring, and we worked with uh, one of the actresses from the show who played the character of Alana. She came in and taught the uh, students music and harmonies for one of the biggest songs in the show, and they got to perform. Um, you know, for the for the cast there, and it was a really great experience. So, with me today, I have Samantha Rook, our uh, president, and our president elect, uh, Victoria McEwen. So, I'm going to pass it over to Sam, and she's going to tell you a little bit more about her experience as my first freshman class. Thank you, Brittany. Uh, hi, I'm Sam Rook. I'm a senior. Uh, also, including theater, I am in Bambi Ambassadors Choir and Drama Club and NHS, the National Honor Society. Um, theater is the biggest part of my life and my experience at St. Hubert. It means everything to me. All the, you make so many great uh, friendships there and you meet some of the most amazing people and it's a great way for, especially as a freshman, to meet um, upperclassmen and get that um, relationship established with them and other people, just so like, if you're walking in the hallways, you don't feel scared of the upperclassmen, but you feel welcomed and greeted by them every time. And it's just one of the most amazing experiences to see um, your hard work come to fruition and pay off in the show. And I have to recommend it to literally everyone I meet at any kind of event like this. It's just the most fulfilling experience to meet these people and share creative ideas and be creative and laugh together and smile together and go through hard times together. And um, yeah, our previous productions have been Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella, The Little Mermaid, and this year we put on Thoroughly Modern Millie. And our production next year, which I will sadly not get to be a part of, is The Addams Family. <laughs> Um, I'm going to pass this over to Victoria now, my elect. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. I'm also in theater, robotics, and um, BAMS United. And theater is also the biggest part of my high school experience. Mostly because of the people that you meet and our amazing director, Brittany. They really welcome you in, and you get to know people on a deeper level than you would just passing them in the halls. It's really been one of the most welcoming experiences and it helped me grow a lot as a performer and as a student because you have upperclassmen to help you get through the hard times who share their experiences with you. And it's just an amazing time altogether. You also meet the people in the crew who are always amazing. They are the funniest people and they all have great stories. I'm going to pass it along. Thank you, Victoria. We're going to come back to you in a little bit when um, Ms. Perez talks about Bambi's United, OK? So you can talk more about that. Um, next up, we're going to go into stage crew. Mr. Maslow. Um, hi, my name is Mr. Maslow. I am a teacher at St. Hubert's. 
um, in the science department, but I also head up the stage crew, which is sort of like the show behind the show, if you will. So we handle the sound and the lights uh, and just moving props around, things like that. Um, there's a kind of two different parts, some for the school, some for the, the, the big show, which is the fall musical. Um, but the job of the girls is just to kind of kind of be unseen, but do all those things that make a show a good show. I mean, if you've ever been to a concert or a musical, you know, you see what you see, but there's a lot happening that you don't see. And that's what stage crew is there for, building props, making sets, moving things around, uh, making sure the sound's in order, lights are going, and anything else that they might throw your way. So um, to speak more on that, I'm gonna to toss it off to Kelly immediately she would be better at explaining this than myself. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Maz. Um, so I'm Kelly and I'm a current senior. Um, I'm also the stage manager, uh, president of the art club and Gimme ambassador treasurer. I went to St. Martha's uh, for grade school. And yes, yeah, so stage crew, uh, I joined it my freshman year and I'm glad I did. I wouldn't have met the people I did if I didn't. Um, we really just focus on building sets and, you know, design, the whole design process we all work on. Um, it's really collaborate, like collaborative and some of the positions are lighting, uh, sound, backstage, costume. So everyone gets to work on a little bit of everything and it's a great community. It's definitely exposes you to something unique and you know, it's interesting to do the inner workings and behind the scenes work, which not everyone gets to know about, but it's definitely a lot. And it's nice because like looking at the girls that are on here now, I got to meet half of them through stage crew. And even if they were in unclassmen, I got to get to know them on a personal level. So I'm grateful for it. And um, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a really great experience. And like Brittany was saying, when we do the Broadway show in the spring and the class, even the crew was able to participate in the class. And I cannot sing for the life of me, but I tried. <laughs> like, so it was a lot of fun. Um, also, uh, our club, we, we do a meeting every month where it's basically based on what's going on. So around Halloween, we'll do pumpkin carving. During Christmas, we'll do ornaments or something. And uh, in January, we have a Bob Ross paint party. So that was a new addition throughout the years. So it's definitely a way, if you're not in a traditional art class, that you can be able to participate in the art electives. And maybe if you're thinking about taking uh, an art class, you can like get a little sneak peek by joining the club and I'm gonna pass it off to the next one. Thank you so much, Kelly. Um, next up, it, uh, we're gonna be- Bambi Ambassador is in Bambi Ambassador. Sarah? Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm a current senior at St. Hubert's, and um, not only am I the president of Bambi Ambassador, I'm also part of NHS, art club, stage crew, and prom committee. So for BA, um, that's our little nickname for it, um, you help out with events inside and outside of school. So things like the house, seventh grade visitation day, scholarship tests, stuff like that. We're usually running it and helping behind the scenes of making it go smoothly. Um, we work in uh, tandem with recruitment and marketing. So the admissions process, you'll see us around a lot, helping out with Saturdays. And it's really the biggest part of my school and what goes on inside and outside of school. So being able to help run a club like this is my joy. Um, you can start applying uh, in sophomore year. So you get uh, teacher recommendations and there's the interview process to go through. And yeah, that's really fun. Um, also, uh, I'm a part of NHS, and in your junior and in your senior year, you can apply and be nominated by teachers to uh, join this club. And it's based off your academic achievements 
and your qualities in leadership, character, and service. So service, we would go to St. Francis Inn and help feed the homeless people, or even service inside the school where you tutor younger kids in the lower grades. So, yeah, I really take a, a lot of joy in my academic achievements and being a part of NHS and both BA has really shaped me as a person. Thank you so much, Sarah. Um, next up, we're gonna go to Erin Fitzpatrick. Hi everyone, I'm Erin Fitzpatrick. I'm really happy to be with you all again. I'm from Resurrection Parish and I'm a senior at St. Hubert right now. Uh, throughout my four years at St. Hubert's, I definitely took advantage of participating in as many extracurriculars as I could. Uh, right now, I'm gonna tell you briefly about some of the clubs that I did and I hope you hear something that sparks your interest. So I was on the cheerleading team, which if you were um, part of the athletics webinar last week, you heard a lot about. So I won't really get too much into that, but if you have any questions, you can definitely come to me for that. Um, I was a part of two leadership organizations. I was the vice president of National Honor Society, which Sarah just talked about. And I'm also on student council, which Tori will talk to you about later. Um, something that I'm gonna go a little more depth into is Athletes Helping Athletes. Um, that's an organization, it was started um, in Bucks County and they partner with local high schools and even some colleges and uh, recreation centers in the area. So what we do is we work with children who have special needs, who um, like taking part in sports and other physical activities, but can't really join um, traditional sports teams or things like that as much. So we do a lot of activities with them. Uh, within St. Hubert, we would do a fun night every year where they would come to us and we would set up our gym and we would play games or we would do face painting and art, things like that. Um, really what happens is you get paired up with a buddy and your buddy is someone who has special needs and it could be from any age group. Some of the kids are really little, some of the kids are older and you kind of want to do whatever they want to do and just keep them like happy and positive. And something that's cool about that too is that there's other events at different schools that you can take part in. So I've gone to Nazareth, um, Archbishop Bryan, Council Rock, places that are close in the area and I could still um, do the things there. Another club that I was a part of was Students Against Destructive Decisions. We call ourselves SAD for short. Um, basically what we wanna do is encourage a safe, positive environment within our school and our community. And something really cool about SAD is that the students really get to pick which campaigns we wanna work on. So something that we always emphasize a lot is um, safe driving. So don't be texting and driving, don't be drinking and driving, things like that. So we would post um, posters around school or make PSA videos just so people would know about that. Um, another thing we always talked about a lot was anti-bullying campaigns. And one of my favorite projects we did with that is we made a positivity board in our cafeteria. So you could write a cute little note on a sticky note, stick it on the board and somebody else could come and take your note if they were having a bad day or just wanted a smile or you could leave your own note. Um, just a lot of great things with that organization and I really recommend getting involved with it. Um, I was also the editor of the yearbook this year and yearbook is so amazing because it really helps you express all of your creativity. And one of the best parts about it is you don't need any experience going in because you'll learn so much. So some students like to focus on the photography aspect. So if we don't have a professional photographer at event, a student can take photos and submit them to us. Um, a lot of people like to write the captions. So you get to express like your creative writing and things like that or you could work more on the graphic design element of things where you're actually placing the photos in and things like that. It's really, really cool and I definitely recommend it if, um, even if you did it in grade school or if you didn't, I love it. Um, something else I did was intramural sports, which I won't get too much into, but every year there's intramurals depending on what girls are interested in. So there's flag football, volleyball, badminton, basketball, um, it really depends on the interest and it's a lot of fun to do after school. Um, like I'm not that good at flag football, but I played it just to have some fun with my friends and it was really cool. 
And one last thing I'll talk about is the prom and dance committee. So I was on the prom committee my junior and senior year. And then your freshman and sophomore year, there's also a formal dance. So you can really help with um, talking about the theme, picking decorations, things like that. Um, it's a really good way to get involved. And I just wanna wrap everything up by saying for any incoming students, I really, really stress the importance of getting involved. So you can live your high school experience to the fullest because I feel like by getting involved at St. Hubert's, I was really able to broaden my horizons and explore all of my interests outside of the classroom because before I came in, I was sort of shy. But after getting involved in so many activities, I've formed so many great relationships and came out of my shell so much. And I really think that's gonna help me in my future. Um, schoolwork always comes first, but if you rely on time management skills, I promise you'll be able to participate in anything you want um, and still maintain your personal academic standards. So that's just what I have to say. Thank you. Hi, so I'm Tori. I'm gonna to be talking about student council today. I'm a senior and I went to Blessed Trinity for grade school. And this year I'm the student council president. So I'm also a member of Athletes Helping Athletes, National Honor Society, and I play soccer and lacrosse, but I'm just gonna talk about student council for now. So basically you can run any year from freshman to senior year. I've been a member the past four years since my freshman year. And the way it works is you can either nominate yourself to run for student council or someone else can nominate you. And then once you're on, we run things like Susie Hubert Day, Dancerama, and all other types of events we give doors at open houses and we have meetings every Tuesday morning and we have student council bonding so we'll all get together get some pizza or just play some games together it's really good to meet new people and then so qualifications you can't be failing any classes and try and keep your grades up and then you shouldn't really have any problems with any teachers or anything like that just be a pretty good student and then your senior year if you've been on student council for any one year so it could be your freshman year sophomore junior or seeing or just freshman sophomore junior senior year you can run to be an officer so that's what i did so there's four positions it's president vice president secretary treasurer and it's just an all-around great experience like i said i've been on since my freshman year and i've met so many new people because of it and it's really great because you get to meet people that have the same kind of interests and you see them throughout the school day you make a lot of new friends and like Erin said, I can't stress this enough to get involved your freshman year because you're going to have such a better time than you would if you didn't get involved. I've had people come to me and say, I wish I would have done this freshman year. I wish I would have done that. Just get involved as soon as you can because it's such a good experience and I highly recommend it. So if you have any questions, I'll put my email in the chat, but I'm going to pass it along now too. Thank you. Thank you so much, Victoria. Next up, we're going to actually go to Mrs. Perez for Bambi's United. Hello, everyone. My name is Mrs. Perez. I'm the moderator for Bambi's United. It's a fairly new club. Um, it's a multicultural club. So if you just want to learn about any different cultures or share your own cultures and your own background, um, it's a great place to you know meet up. We meet up every Thursday. Um, I love it because I get to meet all the different girls and see what you know, uh, they're interested in and, and all their personalities are so different. And, you know, they just, they make the club. Um, things that we do, uh, that we have done in the past are um, food drives. We did a Hispanic heritage, at which um, helped out the hurricane victims from uh, Hurricane Katrina, Hurricane Maria, I'm sorry. And um, we all got to taste all the different Spanish foods that um, the, the girls brought in. Um, there were, we also had Universal, which were different types of food um, from all different backgrounds. Also, um, something that we were, another thing that we did uh, was uh, we had Drive for uh, Personal Hygiene, uh, which was a PhD day. So we also um, did that. Um, another thing that we were going to do this year that we wanted to do, but we're going to do it next year, is uh, Drive for Girls Equality Project, which was something that we're really looking forward to. It's for the girls in Africa that don't have any access to sanitary um, napkins. And once uh, they do have their menstrual, they, they get turned into second class citizens. And the girls were really interested in doing that. But that's something that we're going to do next year. Um, let's see. Uh, so 
we all we've only been here for three years. So another thing that me see, I wrote a couple of things down. Um, oh, so this year we were going to go to different restaurants and and just uh, explore Philadelphia culture because that's also a different culture that we have. You know, we just like to get together and talk about our own cultures and things like that. We have um, Victoria here, Victoria McEwen, who's also going to talk about her experience. One more thing that I wanted to add was this year we did something new. We did a Black History Month. We did a, a bulletin that was really fun to partake in. Um, it was also really nice to see all the girls come together and bring all their ideas to the table. So I'm going to pass it on to Victoria. Thanks, Ms. Perez. I like Bambies United because uh, you get to spend a lot of time with the girls that you would see in school, but you see a different side of them. We learn a lot about each other's cultures and about cultures that maybe no one in the group is, but that interest us. We did the um, Black Her Story poster this year, and that was fun. We all sat and we talked about what we would like to put on the board. Ms. Perez went and got the materials, we cut it. And we all worked together to put it up, which I think was a big part of the fun of the club. I'm also a part of the robotics team at our school. That is a club that really starts at the end of the year, but is really fun. Uh, we build a robot and we compete with it which is really good if you want to be an engineer or if you're interested in coding or any of that. The mentors are great, and if you have no background in it, it's a great way to learn. They really start from the beginning and help you work, help you work your way up. I'm going to pass it on to the next person. Thank you so much, Victoria. Next up, we're going to have Jadzia. I'm Jaya Bia. I'm a sophomore at St. Hebrew. I graduated from Western Trinity. Um, I'm in student council, stage crew, and down to earth and echoing. Um, I'm not going to get too much into student council and stage crew, though they are both wonderful experiences and I've met tons of great people and had tons, a lot of fun in both of those um, extracurriculars. Um, first, I'm going to discuss Down to Earth. Down to Earth is our environmental club, so I've always loved the environment, and I, my goal ultimately is to help to be a more sustainable person and help the environment, especially now in the age of climate change. Um, we meet once or twice a week, uh, depending on, your, on uh, everyone's schedules, and we make fun posters to put around the school to raise awareness. Um, we supply teachers with paper bags uh, and boxes to put their papers in and stuff like that in order for us to recycle them. Um, essentially, we make out efforts to help bring awareness and make our school more sustainable. We're a relatively small club, so uh, the more the merrier, so we're always welcoming uh, new members. Um, next up, Echoings. Echoings is also a relatively small club. Echoings is our annual literary and art magazine. Um, we publish uh, the art and writing of students that is submitted to us. Um, what we do is we, uh, we edit the writing for grammar and stuff like that, make seeing what's appropriate, what's not, what fits the theme, what goes where. Um, our moderator is Ms. Harrison and she's really sweet and she will, um, she'll teach you um, how to edit the art. Uh, we, uh, I remember actually, it was, my, I, it was my first time using Photoshop and she guided me through the basics of how to make sure the saturation's right, the color's right. Um, all talents are needed and welcome. I know I like to write, so I did the introductory page for Echoings. And um, there's no experience in anything needed. All the basics are going to be taught to you. Um, it's very relaxed and fun, and you just kind of sit in the air-conditioned Mac lab, so that's, that's a benefit in the spring um, after school. It's a nice break once a week. Um, yeah, it's a wonderful experience, and now I'm going to pass on to the next person. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Mathletes with Abigail. I'm a sophomore uh, and I'm on the math team here at Newbert. Math is a relatively small club, but it's a very tight-knit one because we are a team, kind of like the sports team, but obviously 
not but um it, I know it can sound really intimidating to join a master's team, especially because there's a lot of expectation that you have to be good at math. But in reality, in my personal experience as a math student for six years throughout grade school and now, math helps understand math a lot. Um, even if you struggle with it in the beginning, uh, Ms. Ryle, who is a moderator, is an excellent teacher, and overall, the club environment is super calm and friendly. It's mostly just once a week talking about mean girls and doing a couple of logic math problems, reading some book cues. And it's a really just calming experience. Even on my worst days, I found that. Just being in a math classroom can be a great distressor, just like being on stage group, which I also am. I love it. Whoever is next. Thank you. Thank you so much, Abigail. Um, next up, we have our drama club with uh, Kate Ryder. Hello, hello. Uh, I'm Kate Breiter. I'm a St. Hubert alum, and I've been directing and moderating the Drama Club of St. Hubert's for the past five years. And we focus a lot on improvisation games and exercises. We do a lot of acting and vocal techniques, and we focus a lot on devised work. Um, in the beginning, when I started doing this, we were doing a lot of already produced scripted plays, which we would do the first focused on improv and all of those devised activities. And then by May, we put up a show based off the scripts that we have found and everyone gets a part and it was super awesome. And now we've evolved and we're doing a lot more of people who are interested in playwriting. A lot of the students are writing their own scripts and they are directing each other's short little plays. And we're collaborating one day a week from January through May and in May we put up a performance at the end of the year for all the students to see their own works come to life. So if you're interested in, in improv, dra dramatics, come. Ms. Brider, I think you're breaking up. We're gonna pass it on to Mrs. Doherty real quick. Mrs. Mrs. Uh, Brighter's breaking up. Okay, I just wanted to say, I don't know if anybody has noticed that uh, most, if not all of the students here on our panel today belong to more than one club or activity and their in interests are just all over. But I also wanted to tell you that they are excellent students as well. Aaron Fitzpatrick is this year's valedictorian. It's just, there's something about really making that whole high school experience complete by not only coming to school for an education, but becoming more a more well-rounded person and following your interests. And something that you do is you learn to manage your time. So if you have a student that's playing sports, Belong, belongs to an academic club, belongs to a service club, belongs to a cultural club, and still gets great grades. It's because they're taking the time to put academics first, of course, and also being able to be part of something that nothing hinders something else because they enjoy so much what they're doing and they get the most out of it. And I'm listening to this and I really, I feel so proud, you know, that I'm a part of it. 
because well-spoken young ladies speaking with passion for what they do just really makes me feel good. And I, I hope that if there is something out there that we are not providing, that someone will come to me and say, can we try this? And I'll listen to anything. I can't say that we're always going to be able to do it, but I always listen. And so I'm really, I just wanted to say that I'm really proud of you girls. That's it. Yeah, they, we have some remarkable student leaders on this panel, and I thank you all for being here. Um, what I'd like to do is open it up to some questions and answers. So if you look down below, it's going to say Q&A. You can actually put your questions um, right in there, and we can direct them to, to the panel members that it goes to. Um, so we're going to take those questions now. In the meantime, um, I'd like to ask, this is gonna go to um, actually theater, because I know this, this, this question's asked all the time when we go out to visit schools. Do you need to have any experience to join theater or to join stage? Yeah. No, no experience whatsoever. Um, I have been in theater for a long time. You can ask me any question. I'll give you the best answer I possibly can. But theater experience is about experiencing it whenever you're ready. So you need no prior experience to audition for us. Okay. Um, did you girl, um, add like the, all the girls who are in, in um, theater or in stage crew, did you guys do any of that in grade school? No, right? Um, I had done two productions that were really small and barely had like sets or anything big. Um, and then coming and then to and seeing it all come together and um, <clears throat> experiencing it in a more like professional light was really great. But um, I really had no experience other than what I picked up myself. So. This probably doesn't help. My first show in high school, I joined a, a little show called Hello Dolly, and then found out it was a musical, and then I was supposed to sing as well, and was a little surprised by that. But uh, just kind of jump in feet first and figure it out. <laughs> Again, that was just well, that was 20 years ago, but. <laughs> I think yeah, I had no experience in. My, like my grade school never put on any uh, plays or anything. I had no experience, no knowledge, and now I'm going to college for production design. So I mean, definitely joining this club, like, changed my perspective of things and like, was a really big impact. So I definitely recommend joining if you come to hear this. <laughs> Um, this mess, this uh, question's from Nancy Ryan. Can freshmen be student ambassadors? She thinks she heard that you can only join starting in sophomore year. Um, uh, Sarah, would you be able to answer that, please? Sure. Um, yes, you cannot. You can start applying to be a Bambi ambassador in your sophomore year, but we always like to involve freshmen in, in different events that we have, especially if we're going to visit a school for a uh, lunch visit. So we're always looking for opportunities to involve freshmen so they can understand what kind of goes on inside the club. Um, Jalissa, can you talk more? I know that you said in the beginning that um, you wish you got more involved your freshman year with, with, clubs, and, uh, with clubs and activities. Can you talk about um, different ways your freshman year you can get involved? Like when you listen to the, uh, the, the morning announcements, like how you can sign up for different clubs and activities once school starts. Yeah, so um, my freshman year, like I would always like, my friends join a lot of the clubs and everything. And I was just like, oh, I'll just do it later. And then I just never did. So I was like kind of upset by seeing all the things that they were doing. And I just like wasn't a part of that. Mm -hmm. So, but then there was like still other things that I could get involved in because on the announcements, that's like a really good way to like, if you want to get involved in something, then just always listen to the announcements. I know sometimes like in homeroom it's hard because like everyone's like talking and stuff like that. 
but um, even if you don't hear the announcements, then um, you can always like go to the office and like ask them something if you have any questions about it. But um, if there's like a specific club that you want to get involved in, then you can go to like the moderator, like the teacher or anything, and ask them if you have any questions, and they'll always help you out. This year, we had an activities fair in October, and in the cafeteria for a week during the lunch uh, during lunches. We had the board set up. Each club and activity uh, has a board that kind of gives information. And then they also had flyers in front of the board. And uh, students could come by during their lunch period, check out the different clubs, pick up a flyer that would give them information, how to sign up, who to see. So I think that was really successful. I think a lot of clubs got new members because of that. Um, I will agree with Jalissa for some reason. People don't always listen to the announcements, but it's out there. And um, so I, I think that one of the best things that we can do is to communicate and make sure that people are getting the information that they need to sign up for our clubs and activities. Thank you, Ms. Doherty. Uh, Monica Kohler, she actually said, um, hi, my name is Monica Kohler. And I am mostly looking forward to going to St. Hubert's for their art, arts program. I have been in 13 productions so far, and I can't wait to continue my show streak at St. Hubert's. Do you have any audition tips for the show and or what we will need to prepare? Uh, Brittany or... Yep, absolutely. So um, auditions, just so you know, will usually take place the first Friday of school. Um, we post all the information on our Instagram. Um, as well as our Facebook page and the school's Facebook page as well. Uh, usually what I ask for auditions are a um, Broadway song, like 16 to 32 bars of a Broadway song, usually of your choice. Um, this year, I believe my music director and I are talking about a, a song from the production, but all of that information will be sent out right before school starts. Um, but honestly, the best tip I can give for any person who's auditioning just come out and show, show us what you can do. Show us that you have a good time. Um, no matter what, the thing I try and invoke so much in these productions is for everyone to have a good time. Mm -hmm. So I just wanna see that you're gonna bring that kind of energy to us as well. It's a very relaxed audition process, or at least I hope so. Mm -hmm. Sarah, right? Sarah, this was your first year auditioning for the musical. Was it pretty <laughs> relaxed for the most part? <laughs> um, this Question is for Victoria Wilson Home. Um, can you both can you do both student council and Bambi ambassador Bambi ambassador? So I feel like that would be a lot in the first place, but once you're on student council, like student council elections most likely come first because freshman year they'll come in about January for the freshmen because we like to get you guys a little bit more like into the school, get involved more in the beginning, and then get used to school and then join. So once you're on student council, we do like a lot. So I wouldn't recommend trying to do both. I don't think you can do both. I don't know. Yeah. So you, you either pick one or the other. And if you don't get on student council, you could go try and be a Miami ambassador. If you don't get on Miami ambassador, you could try to run for student council the next year. It's both are really great organizations and we do a lot together and it's really fun either way. So, but it just depends on which thing you would like to do more. I know Bambi Ambassador goes out to and does the power lunches and then do more like recruiting with like the younger schools. And we do, Student Council does more with in school and open houses and stuff like that we all about like. So both organizations are great though, but I would pick one because you should only pick one. So, so any other questions before we close? Um, so, before we leave, I just want to um, thank you guys for all being here. Um, it, for any of the incoming freshmen that are on here or any uh, prospective students that are on here, don't be afraid to try something new, okay? I always say um, it can be very scary, but things that are scary challenges you and it really opens up many doors. So, um, get involved when you come to high school. Uh, that allows you to meet new friends. It allows you to learn new things and you really, really get so many great new memories um, with the students who are in those clubs. 
Um, I want to just let you know that this is actually closing our webinar series. Um, if you go on our website, you can see all the webinars that we've had this month. We, are also, we also are still accepting applications for the class of 2024. We're actually having our virtual patch ceremony next Wednesday um, at 6.30. So we're, we're really excited to welcome the new class to St. Hubert. Um, and we are also will be doing different webinars and different Zooms throughout the summer, uh, summer as well. I will be putting my email in the chat. So if you guys have any questions, please email me. Um, I check my email all of the time and I get back within, within um, 24 hours too, okay? Uh, but I just wanna thank you guys all for being here. Thank you to the panelists, to the moderators for being here. I truly appreciate you guys taking the time out to speak to the families that are online today, okay? Thank you so much. Have a great Memorial Day weekend.